Hello everyone and welcome back to Automotive History through Diecast. Uh, today I got some pretty neat stuff um, picked up from Whatnot. Um, one of the things I picked up is some new stuff I plan on doing to take my customs to the next level. Uh, kind of excited about that. Uh, hopefully this stuff works. Alright, so first starting off we have this Johnny Lightning uh, Nissan Skyline. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen these, but it looks like someone drew the paint on these. Um, I have a couple customs like this one, but this is the first one that I've gotten from an actual manufacturer. So I bought two because I think the package is really interesting. So I bought one to open and one to show. Next, um, this came up. I really liked it, so I grabbed it. Uh, not that big of an AC, AMC uh, um, person, but I also thought that uh, Hot Wheels hasn't done a lot of AMC rubbles, so I thought that'd be kind of different to have in the collection. Then we have uh, the new Skyline from Mini GT that came out. Um, it's another top secret. really nice and then of course I had to get the new Sylvia this black pearl is amazing looking I can't wait to get it out of the package uh, I think those rims are perfect on it and then next um, this is the new pop racing Panda uh, GR Yaris um, I just like the way these years, the way Pop Racing does these Yaris's. Um, I have two of them, this one and this one. I have another one, I believe is HKS somewhere. Um, so we'll open those two up. And then these last three were a little more high-end models. Uh, Aurora model, this is a WRX STI. Um, really sharp looking. Uh, can't wait to get that one out of the package. And then this chrome Porsche is really nice. And then this last one is a Ferrari F50 um, in this beautiful red. So we'll get that out because it's hard to see in this plastic. But uh, that looks like a really nice die cast. All right, I will pause you, open all this stuff up, and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. So, starting out with this Toyota Yaris uh, from Pop Racing. Like I said, I just love, I think Pop Racing makes amazing cars. And I love these Yaris's. Um, I probably wouldn't like one in real life, but I do like this setup like this. Um, they are a little strange how they do their ground effects and everything. There's like a like a metal like they sink the base but it still turns out pretty nice and then like i was saying this this black chrome one is just amazing with the carbon fiber um look at that wing in the back with the supports just uh, it looks like a rlc um perfect rims for this car uh, same with this one the base is sunk in to give it that lower look but uh, yeah, I'm definitely happy with these in my collection. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next we got this uh, this Forza Motorsports. Um, I swear I should just break down and buy that Mini GT um, turntable. So yeah, the four Forza Motorsports um, kind of looks like a. I know it's an AMC, but it's kind of like they copied a Chevelle or a Falcon, um, all that same body style. Um, but like I said, you don't see many AMCs in the Hot Wheels lineup, so that's why I grabbed it. Next, here's that art car. Um, just really cool, something different. 
Um, but I also think this is something you kind of need the package for too. And that's why I got two of them. But it kind of looks like the wind's blowing through it and just overall very cool. And that's a Johnny Lightning. And then here is the Mini GT, G, Mini GT Top Secret. Like I said, I, I keep buying them because I like Mini GT, but I don't like the wheels they put on these. Um, they're probably more representative of what came factory, but I'd rather see some kind of dish wheel on it. Um, but I'm sure they're going more for often authenticity. But uh, it's a really nice blue, has some flake in it, lots of details everywhere. Go in my Skyline collection. And then here is my Sylvia, which, you know, I've said many times I love the Sylvia more than the Skyline. Um, I was thinking about the other day, so they don't make a Sylvia anymore? Is that... I'm going to do some research on that. I, I'm not a big Nissan buff. Because um, they still make the, what, the R35 now. And the 370Z. But I don't think they make a Sylvia. Um, but yeah, I mean, this this black is just beautiful on here. The rims are perfect. The um, Rocket Bunny logos on it. Everything about it is just dead on all right and then, then these next three were the higher end ones and of course none of them roll uh when you tend to get to the higher end ones they don't roll um <clears throat> they're all four looks they're not toys they're models um but i like subarus i like hks so when i saw this i just had to pick it up And the next one, this car seems a little larger than the rest of them, but it is an RWB Porsche in this mirrored finish. Uh, just looks beautiful. Look how wide that back end is. Very nice detail. The ducktail wing in the back. Exhaust sticking out. Just very nice. And then the last one, one of my favorite, or next to the Zonda, one of my favorite supercars is this F40. This red paint is amazing. Um, and to me, this is one of the best <coughs> replicas of an F40 out there in, in this scale. Um, I bought some other ones that are nice. But to me, this looks the most like the car did. All right, I was talking about I got some stuff for customs. Uh, I found a guy on Whatnot who resin prints 3D parts for customs. Um, so this is a Silverado chassis, and it is for making it a bedless Hot Wheels Silverado chassis. Uh, it'll be low, and if you cut the body, the cab right there, it goes right there, and then this is all open and exposed. With the air tank and the air ride um, as you can tell by how high that axle is how low this car will be sitting and then the other one i believe goes through here so that gives you a good example of how low you can get um, a silverado and have it be bedless next these aren't going to sit that well so i don't know I'm going to have to do it on an angle, but this is a twin turbo LS motor. Um, <clears throat> very well um, detailed. So now I'll be, you know, I have a couple. I have this LS motor and then I have this Pro Charge motor. Um, so I will be cutting hoods off and making. Um, engine compartments I guess you know like boxing in the engine compartment and putting this in there um, so I'm excited to start doing stuff like that next I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this it's really tiny but 
It's a Nas bottle. Oh, turn it on its side. There we go. It's a Nas bottle. You can put it in the car, paint it blue. It'll stick out. I think you'll see it, no problem, if it's painted blue. But you can put it in the like in between the two seats or take this, all the seats out, so for the one, put it next to it. Uh, if you have a hatch, you can put it in the back where you would see it. Just to add more detail to your customs. And then last is this. This is an RWB. Well, I guess not technically. It doesn't have to be an RWB. It could be a Liberty Walk 2. But um, these are for Lamborghinis and Porsches. Either one you want to do. And what you would do is you would take this Porsche, cut out this back, and put this in here. Sorry. Um, here, let me stop this. You would put this in here. Like that, you cut out the bumper, shove that back in there, detail it all up. Then you make your bigger um, <clears throat> your bigger hips for the back, uh, and it'll be it look super cool. It'll look like an RWB, you know, with the engine sticking out the back there. So yeah, that and he said it'll also work with the Lamborghini. So I'm. Um, I'm looking forward to doing either one of those. So actually, I have four, so I plan on doing both. Um, and then the last thing I got, well, I went back the next day and ordered more stuff, but the last thing I got this day was this wing. I was thinking, like, on this car, you could add this wing, like, take this wing off and add that wing. So... Just to give you an example of like what it, it's hard to hold it and show it. But I could put this on the back here. You know, and it would look more like a drift car or something then. All right, well, I appreciate you stopping by. Please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I've had a bunch of like a real growth lately. And I truly do appreciate it. And I'd like to keep it going. All right, thank you. And I'll see you on the next one.